Why is it hard? Who wrote in your max copy? Mark is dead. <laughs> well, people are curious. They want to know. They need to know. Yeah. This is easy. Why the fuck do they want to know unless... Unless maybe they fancy that person. Or maybe they just want to have credibility in their own graffiti. Is gay. For sure. <laughs> like, you'd be surprised at how many people are actually gay. Like, you know, to compare John... We only met him earlier. I didn't think he was gay. He certainly tasted gay. <laughs> I think now is a good time for me to explain the position. <laughs> I'm not really bent. But it's hard. Ooh, it's hard. It's so hard. When people pick you up, they're the wrong way. Including <laughs> my own dad. When he sees me in me, you pink dunger ears. He tries to persuade me to take them all off you. You want people laughing at you. <laughs> and then he goes, So you have to find yourself before you can find someone else. Now, what the fuck does that mean? You'd have to ask a married person really, wouldn't you? So they were one single before becoming happy, happy, happy. And they'll always be happy in their wedding photo on their mantelpiece. <laughs> She's there. I wish this day would never end. He's there. If it stays like this, I'll never get to ride. <laughs> <laughs> so, are any married people in here tonight besides? On the way, oh, congratulations. <laughs> My married friends think I only have half a life. I'm getting twice as much sex as they are. The other day I broke the bed. I have to go to Ikea for a new one. The sales girl comes over. She's flashing her new wedding ring. She's there. I said, I'm looking to find myself a big bed with a good suspension and, and, a, and then a headboard that facilitates handcuffing. <laughs> she says, is the bed for um, you and your wife, sir? I says, no. She goes, for you and your girlfriend. I said, no. She goes, for you and your fella. I said, no. Single beds are over here. <laughs> I was watching a family fortunes the other day, and they asked a hundred, they asked a hundred single people, why are you single? Do you want to take a chance at a top answer? <laughs> Silence isn't the top answer. <laughs> the top answer was, it's really hard to meet someone nice. And if you actually say that to people, they laugh. They act like they believe you. <laughs> like, I tell the truth. I'm bald and am really skinny. Women think I'm gay. <laughs> but people act like they don't believe me. No. You know when you get that drunk that you can't actually, um, you can't actually see anybody. But you're still talking to somebody. <laughs> like, the town's empty tonight, what? I was, I was in this situation the other day, the other day and I met a girl. No! <laughs> she was a friend of my sister's. I took her back to my place. Now, I couldn't remember how we got there. I couldn't even remember her name the next day, which I know it's fucking terrible. But I do remember the last thing she said to me before she threw herself over me balcony. <laughs> it really is hard to meet someone nice. <laughs> and I went... <laughs> so there she is, on her back, in the flower bed. All the red roses up at me. It really is hard. So to calm her down, I took her out on a date. Feeding pigeons on O'Connell Street. <laughs> and you know, I really felt she understood exactly where I was coming from. <laughs> Mark, will you put the bread and spread down? We need to talk. What, what do you want to talk about? What's going on between you and your sister? Just late at night I, I call into her room, we cuddle in and how can we talk? Mark, that's not normal. It's either me or your sister. Now, breaking up with your sister is weird. <laughs> <laughs> so that evening, late at night, bedroom door, 
Francis, what would we do? It's got to stop. She goes, what? I says, my girl says it's not normal. She's asked me to choose, so I choose her. I hope you understand. Oh, my sister was great. She grabbed me by the hand and said, Mark, you can choose your girlfriends, but you can't choose your family. Now get in. <laughs> now when I get home, I am going to reef my sister's knickers off. Because they are killing me. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks very much for being here, guys. Thanks. Welcome.